enchilada. Look at that. My eyes are watering a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> mm. Jody here again, AKA the casserole queen. We're gonna spice it up today. This casserole is chicken enchiladas layered with everyone's favorite spicy snack. Now these are a little spicy for me because I'm from central Illinois, but if I have a little milk to go along with it, I can just snack on them all day, but I, I need a pretty good, good sized glass of milk. Do you say milk? Milk, 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 milk. Anyways. These will melt your face off if you're not ready for them. <laughs> I mean, his mouth's on fire. They're not lying. Yeah. Step one is making the sauce. I've already prepped it. I'm gonna go grab it. It's here on the stove. I'm gonna pour it into this tortilla-sized pan. So I keep my sauce pretty mild because I really want the Flaming Hot Cheetos to be the real star of this show. Enchilada. Now that I've got my sauce ready, we're gonna add some Cheetos. We're gonna Cheeto three ways. We're gonna start with some Cheeto dust. I'm just gonna go ahead and crumble it in my hands, really feel that texture. I think I saw this one once. <laughs> You're gonna wanna be really careful to wash your hands after this step. Uh, don't touch your eyes, done that. Don't go to the bathroom, that'll be up for a a spicy night, if you know what I mean. If you don't get stains on your fingers, you're not doing it right, and you are not a true Cheeto fan. Oof, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off so I don't have any accidents. Okay, I'm gonna start by dipping my tortilla in my Cheeto sauce, soak up that flavor. Then I'm gonna grab some of my boiled chicken layer of cheese, and then wave number two of the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Look at that flavor and look at that color. Mm. I'm gonna wrap this into my enchilada and place it in the pan. Boom. This is like Taco Bell's next sensational item. It's gonna be just sliding off the shelves. Well, I guess they don't have shelves at Taco Bell. I don't know. Yum. Sorry if I'm getting a little carried away. The, the fumes of these Flaming Hot Cheetos are just like shooting straight to my brain. My nostrils are just, they're, they're feeling spicy. So you're gonna wanna fill your pan with as many enchiladas as you can. Based on the size of rolling I did, you could probably fit about five more, but if you're a tight roller like my friend Nancy in college, I mean, she could just roll these tight little, I mean, I, I don't know what she was rolling exactly, but, but she was a great roller, nice and tight. Okay, so now that we're all rolled up, we're gonna do the topping. So I'm gonna start with copious amounts of cheese. Copious means a lot. Being from central Illinois, we do love our cheese. Now, not quite as much as those people, those cheese heads in Wisconsin. <laughs> So already we've got an amazing casserole, but I'm not satisfied at just amazing. I want the grandeur of some Flaming Hot Cheetos and pickled jalapenos. I like to use a little bit of flair, my personal creative style in styling these jalapenos. So here I'm gonna make a little heart shape and, and let your creativity shine here. I've made rocket ships, I've made bicycles, but for the sake of time today, I'm gonna make a heart and because I love my viewers, just like I love my family. Wave three of Cheetos. Ooh, last of the red hot lovers in here. This makes me think about a Spanish exchange student I had. Stay with me. Well, not with me, with my family in high school. He came from Barcelona or, or somewhere near there. He was extremely excited to be living in central Illinois with my family. We took him out to see all the farms. He even participated in 4-H. I mean, I think that could have been the highlight. He was spicy. So here I have the finished product ready to go in the oven. I've got my jalapeno heart filled with the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Looks like love. Looks like danger. Looks like, looks like a James Bond movie ready to put in your mouth. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen next. This casserole is jalapeno business and your taste buds, because it's gonna burn everything straight to your brain. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. 
and let the magic happen. So while we're waiting for that to bake, I just wanted to remind you guys to like and subscribe to my casserole community. I cannot wait to see the look on Sandra's face when she sees everyone that's liked and subscribed. The next PTA meeting, I'll say, listen, Sandra, this is my ball game. We're we, we are just bringing all the casserole community together with all the layers of people and items and, and things that we can explore together. And what's Sandra gonna do? All she's got is cupcakes. Maybe I could make a cupcake casserole. Ooh, now there's something. But again, I love her. You know, she's always got the kids. She's a great mom. Can't, can't put that past her. And she does, she does have a thing for sweets, but it ain't no casserole. <laughs> Oh geez, kind of hit you in the back. It's really tingling on my, my tongue. Use a glass of milk about right now. <laughs> I got it, I'm tough. I'm a casserole queen. <laughs> my eyes are watering a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's good. We just didn't have very much spice in our family. You know, just maybe a little mild picante sauce. <laughs> oh, why am I licking my fingers? Oh, heck. I think I'm gonna have to see if I have some milk. Oh, God. Oh, it's already got some coffee creamer. Oh, this will do this. Oh, now you've got that sweet and savory again. Well, not too bad. I think I could maybe make something with that. Vanilla, vanilla flaming Cheetos. Oh. Oh. Let's see if the castle's done, shall we? Oh, look at that. It's happiness in a pan. Now look at how this cheese just melted together. I've even got this crisp outer edge of cheese. That's my favorite part, the little crust. And the Cheetos even kind of melded together to create a real loving heart. Let's cut into it. Okay. I'm gonna get my creamer just in case. Right here on standby. The weight of that cheese. This is gonna be a nice hearty dish. Ooh, look at that layer of Cheeto in there. Oh, oh, that Charlie Cheeto would be so proud. Is it, you know, maybe it's Charlie. I think it might've been Chester. Now for the big, big reveal. Let me get some of that Cheeto in there. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. All those flavors. And the crunch I've got. I kind of took a big bite there. I was so excited. <laughs> I'm just going to power through this so I can get to my cream, but really pretty, pretty balanced there. I'm almost there. I'm just gonna go have it. Oh, it's not a bad combo. Now, for presentation and flavor, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give myself a 10 out of 10 for this. I would take this to numerous functions. I would take it maybe to, to a t-ball game for, for after when you're really hungry. This is a really hearty dish. Great for, for the holidays to add some spice. Even a funeral, this is a great one. If you just wanna kinda, kinda perk some people up and light a fire, if you will. You know, get them off the couch, get them back and going with their friends and, and talking to family and forgetting about all that death and, and really feel the love of this casserole. And that's the power of a casserole, bringing everyone together. Even, even those who have moved on and, and are no longer with us. They're with us in our casseroles. Not in our casseroles. Not like, you know, we're not, <laughs> not cooking any, any human meat. <laughs> well, this has been great, as we all knew it would be. <laughs> Next time, I've got a real treat. My favorite meal, Lego my casserole. The, uh, it's a breakfast casserole. Lego my, it's got waffles in it. Syrup, great. You don't wanna miss it. <laughs>